Alright, so here's my latest Minecraft creation. It is a vending machine. And as far as I know, this is the most advanced vending machine currently known to Minecraft. Because I've discovered a new sort of southwest based glitch. Not really glitch, but feature of the physics of Minecraft, which are unique and wonderful. Which allows me to uh, check for the passage of items that have been dropped. So here we go. First of all, like any good vending machine, if you click the buttons without paying, nothing will happen. But, if you put something into the receptacle as payment, I'll offer my shoes, these are hard times, the light will come on, and a tone will sound. And this indicates that your payment has been accepted. So now it's just waiting for your order. You have one of three choices, they can do anything you want, and I'll pick glass. The light turns off, so you can no longer make new orders, and shortly your order should arrive. There it is. And you can do it again immediately afterwards because the item has moved off the pressure plate. Allowing you to make fairly rapid orders. Should give me two. There's one. And here's two. Cool. So, it works like a regular vending machine. But I've gone the extra mile, and I put in a unique feature, which took me quite a bit of effort, but I think it's pretty awesome. So, let's say that glass is particularly popular, and is entirely sold out. A proper vending machine wouldn't just take your money. So let's see what happens when I give it something, and attempt to get some glass in whether it's unlocked. At first it seems to take my money. But then it gives an error tone and turns the light back on, thus allowing me to make another order which can be fulfilled. So that's my vending machine. Come on, there you go. Um, right now I just have it so the money ends up back down here because there's no reason to put it anywhere else. <laughs> I guess theoretically if this were an SMP and you had a shop, you could try to just kind of go AFK down in a corner and collect whatever people throw in there. But of course, as you can see, it could just be dirt or sticks or whatever they want. So it's really more for fun and role-playing than anything else. Um, I'll show you some of the things I've developed to make this thing work. So the main development that's responsible for my being able to make this vending machine uh, actually came from when I was working on my helical wheat farm, which I'll include an Imgur album of in the uh, description of this video in case anyone's curious that I'll kind of describe how that works. Basically, when I cleared out my wheat farm with water, all of the objects would start going around the edges, kind of sticking to the very sides of the uh, blocks. And some of them started to do some strange things. I believe this has to do with the southwest rule. So, for example, if I put a block in here, say I put in some dirt, it'll slowly approach this side and eventually get as close to the block on the left as it possibly can. When it reaches the pressure pad, it hits it, but then it stops moving. On this side, however, if I toss one in, looks like it's about as close, but the water still pushes it. This seems to happen when the flowing water is either to the south or to the west of the block the item is on, as long as it's right next to the flowing water, so you have to wait for it to get pushed all the way up to the edge of this block here. So this is sort of two different uh, mirror image versions of the uh, pattern that I use in my vending machine. I just use this leftmost pattern, so we would just cut it off here. And you have my basic system for detecting blocks that are moving along in the water. And on top of that, I also shamelessly hacked my inventory and have used ice underneath these pathways to speed up the whole process. Unfortunately, you can't put pressure pads on ice, so this part does slow down the objects a little bit. But for the most part, they go by pretty quickly, and you can detect their passing. So this is used both for payment, and also for when you're receiving your goods. And that's how it checks whether or not it's out of uh, it's out of stock for one of the items. It basically waits to see if the item is going to go past the pressure plate on the way out, and if it doesn't, after about five seconds or so, it'll basically give you your money back. Unfortunately, it seems like all objects, when dropped, behave exactly the same way. Um, I was really hoping there would be some kind of way I could differentiate between objects because it would be really cool, for example, to only be able to accept uh, obsidian or something like that and actually have some kind of currency requirement. But it seems like all rumors of them behaving differently are just not true. If anyone has any ideas about 
how that could ever be possible, or if you think it is, it would be great to hear. So that's my vending machine. Um, here I'm showing it from the back, so the front panel is over there. Um, as you can see, my redstone work is pretty ugly. This is my first real project involving intense redstone circuitry, and I kind of came up with some of it myself, so I'm not sure how standard it is, or how efficient it is, or whatnot. So unfortunately I can't really show you how to do all of the circuitry directly. It's just too messy, and I probably wouldn't remember all of it myself anyways. Um, if there's enough desire for it, I could make a short video just detailing some of the general techniques I used, like some of my basic... Like I have toggle switches here, which will uh, have two different states they stay in, and use that for like if they paid or yet, if they pay yet or not, or if an item is pending delivery, that sort of thing. Um, but otherwise, pretty much the only thing you need to know is how to do the item detector, and the rest is up to you. So good luck, let me know what you come up with, I'd love to see whatever you do based on this, and here are your comments.